Hey there, I'm Raja and welcome to another video of Unity 5 2D car racing game tutorial. So as you can see, we have almost created a playable game in the last video. Congratulations for that. So we have to fix a lot of stuff now. So as you can see, the big issue now is that we are creating the enemy cars, but the cars are not getting destroyed when they go out of screen. So when the cars go out of the screen, as you can see, they are not getting destroyed. So this is uh, actually slowing down our game. So we don't want to do that. Whenever the car gets out of our game window or game view, we want to destroy these cars. So we're going to implement that in this video. So let's go and do that. So for that, we have to create an empty gum object that will take care of our, uh, that will call that will work as a destroyer. So we're going to create an empty game object and going to name it destroyer. So this game object will be positioned where we want our car to be destroyed. So let's position it down below. I think this would be good. So whenever our car, whenever our enemy cars goes out of the screen and comes to this position, whenever they comes to this position, we want our cars to be destroyed okay so now what we're gonna do is we want to add a collider to this destroyer so add component oops what I've done add component physics 2d box collider 2d so now we have added a box collider to this but we want our collider to be big enough so that whenever the cars come out of here it gets collided with it so click the edit collider button and make it big enough to make our cars hit this okay I think this should be good I'll make it a small bit because I we don't need that much big things okay so this is our destroyer now we have to add a script to the destroyer so that it gets destroyed it just destroys the enemy cars so click on the scripts folder right click create C sharp script and I'm gonna name it destroyer or let's name it enemy destroyer okay so let's double click it to open it in mono develop hope it opens faster wait 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 okay it is again getting slow I don't know why let's try it one more time from here okay it's good <laughs> it started come on why the heck does it do so many things it just comes out and then it goes again then comes out again then shows again what the heck so our destroyer script has been loaded enemy destroyer so in the enemy destroyer what you want to do is we want to check for collisions with the enemy cars so all you have to do is again write the on collision enter to d function so write void on collision enter 2d and inside that we're gonna pass collision 2d call and then inside that we want to check if call dot game object dot tag equals equals enemy car if this is enemy car that what we want to do is we want to destroy call dot game object okay so that should be good so whenever our car gets collided with the destroyer collider we want to destroy the call.game object now remember in the car controller script we are dis we were destroying the game object only so this game object is the game object with which the script is attached to so the car controller was attached to this car so that is why the car was getting destroyed whenever uh, the car was getting destroyed whenever we had a collision but in this case we don't want the car uh, we want in this case in case of the enemy destroyer the script is attached to the destroyer 
okay the script is attached to this but we don't wanna destroy this when the collision occurs we want the car which gets collided with it to be destroyed so that is why here we are saying that destroy call dot game object this call is the object with which the collision happens and here we are saying only to destroy the game object that is with which the script is attached I hope you guys got it if you have any questions write it in the comments so let's go and check it out I think I have to do one more thing uh, select the let's go to the prefab folder select the black viper and I have to add a rigid body 2d to it so add component physics 2d rigid body 2d now let's go and select the gravity scale to zero okay now let's go and plate uh, let me select the destroyer from here select the destroyer and as you can see oh no what is that I think I have messed something up <laughs> so <laughs> I think I have to fix that what have I done enemy car rigid body 2d on collision enter 2d I think the tag is same what is the tag by the way enemy car the tag is same if call dot game object dot tag equals enemy car we want to destroy the call dot game object I think whatever I have done is great there is no problem with that and in the destroyer we have the box collider attached it is big enough to get the cars but I don't know what problem is happening actually so uh, what I can do is let's try to remove this rigid body so this time nothing will happen I guess okay yeah nothing is happening uh, I think I have some problem otherwise so now let's select the destroyer and add a rigid body to this physics 2d rigid body 2d select the gravity scale to zero make the is kinematic true let's try it with this I know it's not gonna work but still I'm gonna try it I don't know why it is really going on uh, okay man <laughs> it's really like laughing I have created the script but I haven't actually attached the script to destroyer oh my god so click the scripts folder and drag the what was that drag the enemy destroyer script onto our destroyer object okay and make sure to add rigid body to one of the game objects add rigid body either to the, either to the destroyer or to the enemy car anyone okay you can add rigid body to anyone so we have added the script now make sure to add the script otherwise you're gonna end up doing like me so let's go and play it now now as you can see the car comes and whenever it passes through this it gets destroyed let's take a look at here take a look at here whenever the car gets passed through it it gets destroyed so that is what we wanted we wanted the car to be destroyed when it goes out of the screen so we have pretty much done that so that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something please subscribe like and share thank you very very much for watching so see you in the next video goodbye